This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys and welcome back to CNG Productions. My name is Tom and I'm joined by Chris again. What are we playing? Warcry again. Game three of the week. Game three, the grand Warcry, finale. Warcry week, we are one apiece. Yeah. I got butchered in the last <laughs> game. I got rinsed. Yeah. Um, but I was a hero in the first game, so this one is... It's a mixture of the two. It is a mixture. Really? We've gone from the, well, we'll tell you in a second, we've gone for the hidden prize, which is a, a very much a guess which treasure it's we need to get. combination of running away and fighting. It is indeed. <laughs> so we'll reintroduce you to the cruise and we'll set up the scenario. And here we are then for our final game with our cruise. I am rocking the unmade. And I'm rocking the Corvus Cabal if once more. If you've not seen the first two battle reports, basically we're, we're both quite glass hammery. You have some ranged darts, I have some ranged garrots. Yeah. And uh, our reactions are quite unique to our crews. So my one is shared pain, so it's the opposite of counter. So if you're damaging me, I can do damage to you for successes, doing two damage on sixes, which is quite nice. So Very nice. I just really enjoy getting hurt. And yours? <laughs> it's a proper chaos -y thing, that really. <laughs> uh, I like jumping out of trees and shouting Kakora at people. Sometimes death from, uh, sorry, raptor strikes. So if you end within five inches of me, I can make a move. And if I land within an inch of you, uh, you take the falling damage, not me. Yeah, I take the impact. So as yeah. we said at the start, it's one, one apiece. I succeeded in the running away one, you succeeded in the murder one. Yeah. And we have a very interesting scenario now now so let's go get it set up and here we are all set up for today's game we're kind of in, in well it's it's very apt for our decider game that we're it's in a graveyard the grand finale isn't it so <laughs> fight to the death we have drawn the true prize now this is the first one that you and i ever played war it Cry. was yeah it's like the intro mission we had so it's quite apt it's the final one the, of the decider campaign. yeah so this is when we have five treasure i'm the defender i secretly know which one the true treasure is and at the start of each combat phase i remove a fake including this first turn Whoever holds it at the end wins. Yeah. Simple as that, really. Um, we've definitely made up for the last game with our wild dice being taken away because the twist that we've drawn is Gaze of the Dark Gods, which gives us plus one to our initiative dice. Yeah. So we roll seven, then get our wild dice and on wild, top. Yeah, it's a lot better. And our deployment, we've got Death Blow, which basically puts everybody on the table bar our shields, which for us conveniently was actually both our leaders. Yeah, yeah. So they will come on to kind of backstab each other's forces in round two. So aside from that, everyone is very much well positioned to just get stuck in. Yeah, let's um, do this. Any thoughts before we get going? Uh, I, I'm going to chase you down if you try and run away with anything. I will try and move the correct distance this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go and roll our dice. We'll be back in a sec. And here we go then. We have rolled our dice and the gods are definitely back on our side a little bit. Back on your side. Seven initiative <laughs> dice help. So I have got a quad of threes, a double of sixes, and then use my wild dice to get a double of ones. So no spares, no singles. Nice. I managed to roll a double two and a double four. And I had three singles, so I used my uh, my spare dice to make a double five as well, so three doubles. So you have the initiative. I do indeed. Before we start this combat phase, I have to reveal one of these, which is the fake Chris. I'm going to tell you now, this is not the true prize. Oh, that's the one I was going to go for. <laughs> and we'll go to the first activation, the first turn. So I've chosen to go first, and we're going to play... Uh, Peekaboo with some of these objectives. <laughs> Which one has Tom chosen? Yeah. So I'll go with Cabalist with Spear number two, who's going to walk. So he goes four to there and back an inch to here. And I'll take that objective. So he'll then become slow, so you're at minus two to your move. Yeah, so he'll move three and pretty much go exactly where he was at the start of the turn. Defend me, Bird Brothers! And now I've got the Flaming Skull. It's mine. Well, seeing as you've got, like, Nicolas Cage's head, I'm going <laughs> to go with, like, you know, some sort of Skyrim badge. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Whippy Longstockings first of his name. He's move four. Move four, notice I've learned Move now. four. So I'm going to move two, then two, to pick up this treasure. And then I'm going to move a second time. I'm reduced to minimum of three, so basically I'm going to go two and then just tuck in. Cool. Literally there. And that's him done. Well, I'll activate Cabalist with spear number one. <laughs> Doesn't deserve a name. <laughs> We don't name our minions. People are defined by their weapons in Warcraft. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They all lie in the same shallow grave. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to... That got very dark very quickly. He's going to take a walk of about five to there and pick this up, which leaves another three. What's that one, like a Horcrux? Should get into here. It's... I don't know what that is. Is it the Time Turner? Whatever it is. I don't know my Harry Potter. It's... Potters. It's... it's it, some magic symbol. Wiser people can tell us in the comments what it is. For me, it's just going to be a bop it. <laughs> That's the end of my activation. Right, so I better pick up the last one and then we can start beating the living daylights out of each other. So I'm going to go with uh, this awakened one. He's going to move, pick up this token in a second, and then he's going to start a second move action, which will be minimum of three. 
just to hide behind this little ruin here. Hmm. I don't know what he's picked up. He's picked up some sort of like, you know, those like Renaissance Fair, like mead tankards that they drink out <laughs> That's, That's what, what he's is. got as his prize. I'll go with Cabalist number two, who sees your person trying to hide behind a building. So I'm going to walk over to around here. And just circumnavigate all the cover. Throw a knife at you. So Knives ignore cover. Which double anyway. are you going to use? Uh, use the double five. Let's go for the big one straight just away. Just half my health, basically. Yeah. Uh, so again, it's one does nothing. Two to four does one wound. Five or six does whatever I chose, which was five wounds. And yeah, five wounds. Oh, half his health. <laughs> And then I'll just walk up and engage you, nudging all of the terrain on the way. Standard walker. I'm going to go with an awakened one at the back. He is simply going to wait and just survey the, the darts that are going to come his way. Mm. Well, in that case, I'm also going to survey the battlefield. I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. Mm. But from a higher position. So my Cabalist <laughs> with the familiar is just going to wait up there and see what happens. Seems fair. Apparently now seeing that this is the opportune moment to move, now he's surveyed the battlefield, he'll go again and he'll just walk to that position there. Perfect. The Spire Stalker. Twisted Spire Stalker. <laughs> Who's going to go? Um, you think after three bar reps we'd have like proper nicknames for everyone and, uh, we're really struggling. I'll write names on this. His name's Michael Jones. Not Beaky Bobby. No, Michael Jones. <laughs> Uh, and he's just going to walk to here, and then guess what, Tom? I'm going to throw a knife at this guy. Just going to yeet one over your mate's yeah. head. Just wait till we get crews with actual bows and arrows. We're screwed then. Yeah, we'll a different game works. it'll be. Uh, what value? Uh, I'll use the fours on this one. <sighs> so let's go. Oh, yeah, one. You completely can. misses. Yin and yang. Yin and yang. Cool. And then I'm just going to walk again and say, come on, ready for all of your stuff coming in next turn to Cuckoo. kick me. In fact, I'll go there. I'll try and block the road. <laughs> Over to me then, I'm going to go with an ascended one. First of all, he's going to do is he's going to move four inches next to his buddy around to yonder. So I'm conveniently, Chris, within five inches of your guy. I'm going to spend my double, my double sixes to lob a chain garrote. So this is three or four one damage on a five plus. It'll do six damage to this person. It's just bounced off the thing, but you can tell by my rolling exactly what was going to happen, yeah. which is nothing. And then I'm just going to move a second time and he's going to end round about there. Right, I'm going to use the other activation or the other half of the activation for the Cabalist with Familiar. Now, because of the mistakes I made with who could do what abilities last time, I've got a highly detailed <laughs> diagram this time showing me who can do what. Just mad ramblings. Um, but she's not going to do any abilities. She's just going to walk to there and stare intently, survey the hardest she's ever surveyed. And that's her done. Okay, back to me. I'm going to not roll any dice and then life is easier that way. So I'm going to spend my double <laughs> on this ascended one. He's going to get the plus one move for like rush or dash or whatever you want to call it. And he's going to weave himself and basically land just here intimidatingly <laughs> next to that guy. And that's me all done. Time for Big Bird to get stuck in. Going to recite some Edgar Allan Poe yeah. to me now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to spend the double to give him her rush. Uh, and As if she needs it. Uh, they're going to dive or leap. Nine inches. Yeah, nine inches Caw -caw. to here. Caw -caw. Um, obviously fall damage because it was three inches up so one is three damage two or three is one damage four plus nothing six Just. loves it uh, I'm going to take a big meaty swing at your whippy number three whippy short stockings yeah uh, so that is toughness four on this one because he's an ascended strength four five dice five dice it is five dice Dump. oh my god well oh. um, Chris dice yeah you might one shot him here I might do four six eight ten twelve <laughs> Splat. Well, I was going to just kind of run flaying frenzy everything that was like down this end of the screen, but you've presented a tasty bird like target for me now. <laughs> See how the dice do, shall we say? Yeah. So I'm going to go with the Rampage quad and I'm going to spend my quad of threes with my champion, the joyous one, to make a free move action and a bonus attack action. So I'm going to attack Big Bird. Yep. Four attacks, strength four. Toughness four, fours. <sighs> We get one success there, Chris. Cool. So start, that's two wounds. Start as we mean to go on. That is two wounds. Lead me on. 18. Okay. I'm going to attack you a second time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. There was a six there as well, and it just flipped over. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to attack you a third time, Chris. All right. There becomes a point where this isn't funny anymore. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, six damage. Six. Eight in total leads me on 12. Nice. So I've 12 attacks there. <laughs> <laughs> And that'll bring us to the end of the turn. And at the end of the first round, I've barely done more damage than you've done on one dice with 12 <laughs> dice. 
But um, yeah, we're in a very interesting position now. The two champions facing off is very cinematic. Yeah. So we have rolled our dice I managed to get a triple with ones using my wild dice and a double with sixes that extra dice is helping us a lot yeah you're doing better out of it than me I think <laughs> um, I managed a double three and a double six and I used my wild to make a double five so nice many so dots I had more singles left over so I have initiatives we've deployed our whatever this was shields left so I've got yeah. my leader Betty over here you've got yours over there yeah and another spire stalker and I now have to reveal a fake prize for you Chris it should be absolutely no surprise here but you know Bop It isn't a real prize oh, Chris so twisted I, sorry that one's that one's not real Aww. but it frees you up to move nice and quick now yeah and we'll go to the first activation of round two right don't trust a joyous one to do what a blissful one can so <laughs> Betty's gonna go first she's move eight so she's just gonna yeet herself over to here hello and we're gonna pick on this guy for no reason Chris yeah nothing for you to worry about understandable and I'm hoping they're gonna then go this way yep so I'm gonna attack any reactions yeah I'm gonna react for misses yeah that's Ta -da. Sensible. so I have got five attacks here I'm at strength four your toughness three three needing threes. threes okay oh my god um, well, that's death. Yeah. That's six damage per crit, so what, 18, 19, 20, 22 damage that'll be. I have eight health, so I'm on negative yeah. 14. I'll take the zero misses. I know. That, that helps my life considerably. I'm glad I react. You get to drop your token. I do. I'm going to drop it. What is it? Ghost Rider, isn't it? Yes. I'll drop it over the other side of me, near my guy. That seems completely fair. Right. Mm -hmm. I then get to make a bonus move action. <laughs> And a bonus attack action. The question is, do I want to try and pick this up or do I want to go that way? Which I want to go that way, Chris. So I'm going to spend my triple, which will give me a bonus move and a bonus attack. Nice. Ah, I don't know what I do, Christoph. So I'm going to use my triple ones for Vessel of Torment. I've made the decision, Chris. <laughs> move, bonus move action, bonus attack. So I'm going to snake my run just around to here. And I'm going to pick this up on Betty. She gets... Nicholas Cage's head. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack. Any reactions? Nah, not this time. Uh, so, strength four, toughness four this time. Yeah, fours. Yeah, fours. Okay, not bad. One miss. So, t she's making up for it. Jesus yeah. Oh, right. So, that is 12 damage. Ooh. 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, yeah, that's enough. I only have 15. Yay! All the murder. Math is on my side. And that's Betty. Very, very done. I love you so much. Never hurt me. Time for Big Bird to try and get some revenge, but no doubt this will hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to spend my double to give myself an extra attack dice. Yes. With a special ability I don't know the name of. It's Onslaught? Maybe, something like that. Uh, and I'm going to smack you on a Ruto runner. I'm going to... Ooh, which counter? You have strength four, toughness four. Strength four, toughness right, four. See if I, Six dice See now. if I can roulette this. I'm going to take counter, so this is the one for misses. For misses, with. okay. Hitting you on fours. Ooh, 50-50. Two misses. Yep. So two back on me, and then four, six, eight, ten onto you. Yep, that kind of does quite a bit to me. Uh, I have 15 health, so I have five left. Okay, uh, I've got ten left. Um, I'm going to smack you again. I'll take the shared pain for success. For this success, time. sir. I need to do exactly five damage. <laughs> He's done it before. Do it, do He's it. Done it before. Uh, four damage. How many misses? Oh, sorry, how many successes? Uh, well? Two successes. So two damage back to you, four yeah, damage to me. Four damage to you. Leaves you on one. A solitary point of health left, but no oh. actions at least. No, that's it. Uh, so it was two back on me, wasn't it? It was sorry. indeed. Yeah, it leaves me on eight, and that's Big Bird done. There's me just gallivanting around here trying to measure stuff near Big Bird, and I'm like, actually, I need to deal with this. <laughs> so my ascended one is going to go, I'm going to attack this Cabalist to start with. I hope you miss. Okay, so four attacks, strength four, toughness three, so needing threes. Yeah. Um, well, it's worked out kind of even for us. Uh, that's going to be eight damage to you. That's exactly the right amount. And I will take three back. <laughs> I'm all dying this turn. Uh, so that is just going to go here. Um, ooh, that changes things then. I'm going to spend my double sixes to try and chain grot Big Bird. Okay. So it's within five inches. I'm just doing this on the fly to see if I am within five. Yeah, easy. So I roll a dice on a three or four, it'll do one damage. On a five or six, it'll do six damage. <laughs> <laughs> one damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Screw you, pile of bones. Uh, and then I've got a move action that is remaining. Um, I need to just play defense here. So I'm just going to sit. Oh, do I go around the back? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know which way I go. I go this way and play defense in this little alleyway. Okay. 
spear guy number one's gonna go and try and actually do something he's to really you. annoyed the bop it wasn't the true prize yeah, he's like you took my bop it i was having so much fun uh he's gonna walk around to about here just to engage this guy and yep. i'll take a swing at him so strength three uh toughness three i'll give you the shared pain so for successes successes Da, 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 da. Uh, two successes, which is two damage in total. Uh, two back to you as well, my love. Well, that's mm. only fair. Uh, and while I'm around here, I'll throw a knife at your Naruto runner. God damn it. Which, so, which uh, double are you using? Use your double I use the double five. Oh, rude. So anything but a one. <laughs> yeah, five, I'll do six, five damage. That, that will kill me. Farewell. And that's me done. Okay, I'm going to go with this awakened one who's absolutely going to get rinsed from behind. He's the cannon fodder. It's a poke off. But I'm going to, I'm going to poke at you. You can't counter poke at I least. Know. You've been pokeyed out. I'm all so, poked uh, two attacks at strength three, toughness three. Fours. Oh my go. gosh. That's six, that's four damage. Ooh, leaves me on two. And I will attack one more time. I either need two successes here or just a six. Oh, one, one success. success. One health left. Yep. Yeah. And that will do for that awakened one. Right, I'm going to run as fast as I can <laughs> and with a great amount of momentum throw a dart at the back of your objective <laughs> holder's head. So I'm going to sprint, walk, run twice, walk twice to here and then use my double sixes to try and... Try and uh, finish the job. Finish it. I'm going to the base of the skull. So let's see what happens. A five, yep. Yeah, six damage. Oh, he dies. I'll drop my objective that he's got. You've got the, the drinking horn, haven't you? He's gonna just drop it there. Lovely. Goes, no. Okay, so um, I could try and get this objective, but Whippy Longstockings has a limp and I can't carry more than one treasure. <laughs> so I am going to just try and whip this guy, try and get back up on activations. No. So I'm gonna make an attack, three dice at strength three versus toughness three. Yeah. Just a hit will kill. Ah, uh, uh, well, it's yeah. two sixes and a four. Def definitely does. There's no kill. just killing in this game. There is no it's just killing. Explode. Just, you obliterate someone or nothing. And that's Whippy Longstock is dead. First of his name. We were just saying if this was the last game where we had to add up how many points we'd killed each turn, we'd need. To, we'd be up there. We'd, we'd be consulting up. a mathematician <laughs> to add all this up. Uh, I'm going to go with the Spire Stalker, and he's just going to walk twice, da -da -da -da, which gets me just within an inch of this guy. So I'm engaging him, ready for next turn. Lip. Yeah, that'll do. He's one for me. This awakened one is going to take the weight action. Uh, I'm going to use my classic battle plant stick. <laughs> and my lead is going to go and just walk 10. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> just engage this guy. We're refining the idea. It's okay. Yeah. Right, now seeing his opportune moment to walk through a gate, <laughs> this guy is going to go and just walk to there. My last activation is going to be the Cabalist with the Familiar. Who's going to do what? My guys do best and just leap off high ground. So carry me, bird. So okay. yeah. It's like when Link grabs a chicken in Zelda and jumps <laughs> yeah. off a cliff. So let's roll and see if the, the chicken helped. We go there. Uh, five. It does. You absolutely don't fine. Don't even twist an ankle. And then I walk again to here, coming up for that, that mead horn. Okay, last activation for me then is going to be this ascended one. He's just going to move twice. He's also going to chase after that objective and go to this position. Yeah. And this is the image at the end of the second turn, and yet our blood tallies were up there. Yeah, ridiculous amount of stuff died that turn. Half my crew, pretty yeah, much. I've lost my champion, which is terrifying me a little bit. So, we have got three tokens left. I'll reveal which one is a fake in a second, but we've rolled our dice. Yeah. I've ended up with four doubles, so I have a double six, double four, double three, double one. Nice. Uh, I've got a double three, double five, and double six. I use my wild for that double six. So you have initiative. I do us. have initiative. Chris, I will reveal to you now that Whippy Longstockings is holding a fake oh, treasure token. The one in the middle of all of my guys. This is incorrect. That's a shame. And yeah, we'll go to the uh, first activation of the third round. Well, unsurprisingly, I'm going to go first. That seems fair. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go with my leader, who's finally in the fight. I'm going to take a swing at your little spear boy. <laughs> my little spear boy. Little going. spear boy. I'm going to share some pain with my reaction. Ooh, for hits. Yes. Okay, strength four, toughness three. Yes. Threes. Uh, okay, six damage. Okay, you'll take three back. I will take three. How rude. It leaves me on 17. Uh, leaves me on four. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll swing at you again then. I'll take the same reaction again. Why not? Because I'm going to fall apart. This is where I roll all the sixes. I mean... Uh, okay, no. So, six damage. Uh, three back to you. Lovely. That will kill. Poor boy. Well, I didn't get to move anywhere, but I'm going to throw a dart at that guy. 
this guy. Oh, whippy long stickings. Right here, and I'll use the... I'll use the fives for okay. this. He's taking two damage so far, so he's on eight health. Yeah, I'll still use the fives. Nice. Uh, so here we go. A one. A one, nothing at all. Right, that'll do for me, leader. Can't keep whippy down. Right, let's go with the hero of our people then. So I'm going to spend my double threes with Whippy to do Nightmarish Visage on Big Bird. No, yeah, no. I'm going to try and scare him. So on a three plus, you cannot move or disengage. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, the dice gods are with you this that, game. That, I said to Chris afterwards, I was like, that ability's gone off both previous games, so watch it or not. Yeah. Right, that frees up things because I am within three of this guy, so not having to worry about him now. And this guy being engaged because we're engaging each other. Yeah. I'm going to attack this guy. Wooed. Any responses? Uh, yeah, I'll respond for misses. Okay, so this is going to be uh, strength three versus toughness three. So, yeah. Three attacks, needing fours. Uh, well, Ooh. I'll take two damage uh, yeah. from my miss. So that will take me up to four wounds. But the six is worth uh, two for me, and the four is worth one. So, you take three damage. Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. It's not It's not great. Three damage yeah. leaves me on five. Uh, and then my second action, I'll try again. Cool. Try and hit you a second time. Uh, I'm not going to respond because I would like to move slightly with that person. That makes sense. So we'll see how we do so. Uh, that is three successes, which Oof. is just going to be a damage apiece, which will be three damage. Awesome. Leaves me on two wounds. And that's whippy all done. Spire Stalker is going to go and, <laughs> and try and kill something else as well. So I'm going to go after the aforementioned Whippy. Can I just, just freeze the battle here and just not nothing else happens? Like him holding down the crew like on his own. Can I move Big Bird this turn? No, please? you don't. Then no. Well, the well rude. Uh, four attack, strength four, toughness three. He just burned himself out with his big sprint last time. <laughs> he did. He did. A spring's popped off his legs. You need threes. I need threes. I can't react. Okay. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. It's enough to kill him. <laughs> cool. In that case, we hardly knew you. I will then walk one, two, three. I mean, four gets me within an inch, and then back again. So if I walk to there and then back to here, and I'll pick up the oh, beer. Oh dear! The humble beer. So it's number two, and then while I'm at it, I'll throw a dart at this guy for good measure. Lovely. So I'll spend my sixes for this. Okay. Uh, where's my super special dice? Here it is. Let's move these out the way. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just not Super work. special dice is going in the bin. Uh, that's me done. I feel like this is going to be uh, quite a clutch battle, this bit here. <laughs> so I'm going to go with this ascending You know one. better than me. <laughs> I do. I'm going to move to this position here, Chris. Okay. I'm going to attack this guy who's on two health. How rude. I'm going to react for misses. Yeah. Because I'll die either way. <laughs> so four attacks, strength four, toughness three. Yep. Needing threes. Uh <sighs> Oh, I do quite a bit of damage to myself, but I do get the six. Cool. I will take four damage back from that, though. Nice. Yeah, I'm exploding. Yep, that seems fair. Like all uh, my brethren. Well, say my crit is four damage, so yes. Yeah. Um, that's changed things a little bit with only six health left from just an incidental attack. Um, I'm then going to try and spend my double sixes to chain garot this guy who's holding the objective. Cool. So on a dice, three to four, one damage, five or six, six damage. Six Ooh, damage. Nice. That'll be. Leaves me on nine. And that's, no, he's, he's, he's swung back the other way there. And that's him done. Big Bird's gonna go. Rotate slightly. He's on not the allowed sports. to rotate. He's, he's transfixed. Good. All right, he's gonna give you side eye then. <laughs> gonna give you some nasty side eye. I'm not I'm gonna gonna spend my last double to throw a dart at this guy. Yeah, what value is this? A three. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give the dice a lucky kiss. Oh, let's <laughs> see how it does. Yes! yes. Makes it three, Lucky kisses for the win. Three uh, damage. Three damage. Uh, he's taken seven now, so he has got three left. Oof. And then I'll uh, I'll wait. <laughs> Just well, you see can't what else happens. Try and fix his legs. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go with this ascended one. He's already taken a bit of a ding. He's taken three damage already, so I'm going to spend my double fours, seeing as they've been working, to try and chain up this mook over here. Mook. See how we do. I get a three, which will be a point of damage. That do, leaves me on seven. And then I'm just going to move and then attack you. Any reactions? Yeah, I'll react for misses. Lovely. So strength four, toughness three. Threes. Threes. Oh, two twos. Uh, so that will be four damage to you. Cool. And I will take two damage, which takes me to half health, which means you might be able to counter-attack kill me here. <laughs> well, I'm on five in total, so. Nice. That's me, Dove. I'm going to smack you back for that, Thomas. Yeah, you may well kill me here. It wasn't very nice. Um, but I'm a puny little weakling. So four attacks. 
Uh, strength three, toughness four. Toughness four. So fives. Hit me. Man. Hit me. I mean, there's, there's a six a six for three damage. And then these, I've just rolled that as a two. Yeah. He lives. Who oh, lives? He lives on one. I've not even got a dart. Two health left. So I'm going to activate the angriest of the Bettys. Her first action is she is going to drop this treasure token because it's weighing me down, Chris. Oh, right. It's slowing me down. And it's essentially hooking Betty on everything in life. And then she's just going to make a move action and she's going to loop herself around to this position here. Why are you coming over here, Tom? Going to try and try and, try and and deal with something, Chris. All Don't right. worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Big Bird can't really do much, can she? Because she's stuck in place. So she's just going to resolve the second half of her activation and just cry. Right. I'm going to tell you now, Chris. Mm. The fake token yeah. is this one. Okay. The real token is the skull. Yeah. The right thing to do would be to back away through this gate and hide. But Absolutely. we don't really do that on the channel because we're... Apart from game one. <laughs> Apart from game one. <laughs> what, what, like, do you want me to hide in the corner? Nah. I'm just going to, we're going to make it as fair as we can. I'm going to pick this up. Yeah. I'm going to use my double for plus one move. So I've got a five inch move. I'm going to walk to there. So at least everybody should be able to throw darts throw at darts him. and hit him and all that kind of. I'm going to burn my second action. We want a grandstanding final turn. Yeah. And this is the picture at the end of the third round. And as it is now revealed, this little mook man <laughs> holds the true prize oh, the mead was fake the mead was, was non-alcoholic so we've rolled our dice we've both managed to get some quads on the board so i've got a quad of five and a double of sixes thanks to my wild yeah i rolled a double one a double three and a triple four and then added my wild since i had no uniques so yeah. i thought i'll have my first quad of the game possibly of the series yeah maybe. maybe but we'll see how that goes uh, but you've got initiative is the main thing yes so i've got two spare so i'll be going first going into the last turn okay here we go so i've just said to chris this guy is not activating until last or unless he gets charged because same thing would happen yeah we need to at least give a chance i'm gonna go with betty first so i'm gonna spend my quad to rampage so rampage allows a free move uh bonus move then they can get a bonus attack action She's moved a gazillion, but she just wants to get stuck into the fight, so she's going to move to here. Face them both. I'm going to use my quad fives, and I'm going to attack Big Bird. Oh, I'll react for misses. That seems completely fair. So I have five dice here at strength four. Toughness four. We have seven wounds. Yes. So I need fours. Oh, jeez. Here comes Betty's dice. That's Betty's dice. Um, so that's going to do, what, six, seven damage back to me? Yeah. Uh, but I will do six damage to you. Oof, okay, yeah, it leaves me on one. So if I would have not rolled absolute garbage... <laughs> I'd be dead. Um, I'll attack Big Bird again. Any reactions? I'll react for misses again that since I'm on one wound. Fair. Right, come on, do something better. Oh, okay, that's better. So I'll take three damage. Yeah. And I will do all of the damage in the world. Explodey. So three damage will mean I've done ten damage to myself. <laughs> I've half the health with that. Yeah, I was thinking I'm not going to be able to take her out this turn, but as always, as she always, does more damage to herself she than does I do. All of that, and then I'm going to tap this spire stalker. I'll be out for misses. Yep. Uh, toughness four again. Toughness four again. Yeah. Well, 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 no, well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, two misses, so I'll do two damage to myself. Yeah. But I will do six, 12, 14 damage to you. Yeah, I had nine. <laughs> cool. Fair play, Betty. Right, let's let's go for the pure drama. This is going to be awesome. Pure cinema. So I'm going to go with my leader. I'm going to walk to around about here. And then I'm going to walk again and climb up here. You're full Assassin's Creed, mate. the high ground. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend my quad for death from above. So I get to make a move action. Cock <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, let's see if I take any impact. Uh, no, fine. I'm fine. I'm, wow, I'm doing really well with this. Um, so I get a move and a free attack action. If I ended three inches lower, then I get plus one strength. So and I did end I three have inches two lower. Two wounds left in your min two. So uh, yeah. I'm just going to share pain for successes. Cool, yeah. So I need threes to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's. this. 14 wounds there. Yeah, that's uh, six, yeah. six damage back to you, whatever it's worth. Uh, you puts me on 12, so <laughs> eight wounds left. Awesome. 
Right, I'm going to go with my ascended one. Don't worry, I've not forgotten measuring. I'm going to use my double sixes <laughs> to move the plus one inch because I'm just out of range. I was basically eyeing up either the sixes, chain gross, or the move and hit you. I'm going to do the move and hit you. So I'm going to tap this guy. How rude. So, four dice. Are we out for Mrs. Tom? Yep, yeah, that seems fair. I have seven wounds taken, so I have three left. Three. Uh, Both die. Death pack. Strength four versus toughness three. Is threes. <laughs> uh... I'm going to take three damage, so I'm going to be dead. Okay. But I've done two to you. So I have one left. <laughs> He's like, death or glory. Uh, and you're going to get your one action to get a one blow action. dart, my man. Yeah, so... Well, I'm going to walk around here, and just for pettiness, I'm going to use my double three and just try and throw a knife over that wall at you <laughs> to see how it goes. So let's give it another lucky kiss. It worked last time. Do it, do it. Ah, uh, one damage. One damage. He'll take his damage. I'll dig. Last activation in the game, then. I'm going to go with this guy. He's minus movement, but luckily he's got a two inch melee range. He's just going to hobble to there. I'm going to see if I can finish the job on this guy. You so may as well. One wound left? Yes. I have a two dice attack, strength three. Ooh, toughness Versus three. Toughness three. Come on. Well, yeah. there we go. That sums up the game. A six and a one. Good game. Good man. game. And we'll go to the post game. And at the end of the game, well, that just shows everything. Both leaders <laughs> and an awakened one left on the board yeah. holding the true prize. I think the uh, the leader's going to have a face-off in the graveyard to finish the job, isn't it? Our, our clans are going to end each other here. Yeah, or they'll just shake and have a drink with that <laughs> non-alcoholic mead. <laughs> this guy will just go back to the tribe and be like, I'm the new leader now, I'm the only one who's left. I'm the ghost rider. And I'm, <laughs> I'm the ghost rider. So that'll conclude this game. We'll go to the post-game summary. <gasps> well, thank you for allowing me a chance at some redemption at the end. It's only fair, isn't it? Really? It's a bit of a runaway. But to be fair, that was a really, really even game. We were like, when yeah. you killed my champion, like turn two, I was like, oh, because I knew Big Bird could take damage, but it's just. Yeah, it can take quite a bit, but it's when I damage. It really came off in that game of when I was damaging you, it was doing damage back to myself yeah. again. But then you were also damaging yourself more than Your I Your little darts didn't go off as much as they should off. No, as well. no. That was the other thing, because you should have done like pings yeah. and three and four. And also transfixing stairs. Freaking amazing. I should have kissed the dice earlier, is what that, that was. That's clearly what the um, secret is in the game. But I think the real treasure there was the bodies that were sacrificed to the chaos gods along the way. The yeah. bodies we made along the way. Also, speaking of the chaos gods, that twist that gave us more dice completely made up for the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah. On Absolutely twist brilliant. Three games. It's the first quad I've had all, <laughs> all out of all the three games. So. so we've kind of fallen in love with our crews after that. Yeah. We, kind of, we, we will probably cycle around to other ones, but yeah. you'll have to let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this and want us to make more. But, yeah, like, mm. as, as slow and squishy as mine are, when Betty hits stuff, it's all the yeah, serotonin just, I uh, need. My models exploded that game, so... Uh, but then you're jumping out, cock up, I love that death from above. <laughs> <laughs> it's boom, bam. Yeah. Loved it. Um, no, we thoroughly enjoyed it. As always, we're very much casual players who are playing for fun. We hope you've enjoyed this week. Please give us some feedback below. Like, subscribe, boring YouTube stuff. Let us know which crews you'd like to see in the future. Obviously, we're sticking to the core eight pointy ones. We've got quite a few. Yeah, not the like. lizard men. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> not good guys. Bad guys. <laughs> Bad guys. Um, but yeah, massive thank you for watching. Massive thank you to Chris. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, as and always. murdering me. Thank you for having us. That yeah. sounds weird, but we'll end it like that. Bye bye. Well, a massive thank you for watching that video, guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find some more, they should be over here. And if you want to support the channel and the content that we create here, there's links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.